Okay, so I'm in the air, I'm in Wall, uh, South Dakota. There's not much here, <laughs> but I'm here. I got up late. It was supposed to be windy today, and apparently the storm has moved through, and it's not windy. There isn't much wind to speak of at all. So this is late. I'm up at like 9.30, and uh, I'm going to come down early because... I figured there will be some thermal activity, but uh, right now, you know, it's it's kind of buttery. There's just a little picture of uh, the mini Badlands there. But even on a cloudy day like this, it's neat. Let's go take a look at what the Badlands, the mini mini Badlands, look like here. You can see them out to my out to my right I'm looking out there now out there but uh, this is basically the, the way they form a bunch of salt in them I think I mean you can just imagine these things which you can see out there uh, larger than uh, then you know what the Badlands look like. And it's a, when they are a great deal larger, they're a great deal more impressive. It's like one canyon isn't the same as the Grand Canyon, and the Badlands are much better than the, than the little things like this. But if I'd have gotten up earlier, which I did, I got up earlier, I got up a couple of hours ago, and the wind was still moving along. And then I checked all my apps, and it said that, you know, it was going to die, and it did. So, that's kind of a, a good look at them right there. And the way they form colors. And there are some different colors out there, but you see some of the kind of like a green look. Very neat. Yep, getting some rotor there from coming down low. <laughs> Very cool. But this was my morning to fly around wall, so now that I've been out here, I'm going to go back. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, more rotor. Shooting range. Look at that. Right there. Over the, uh, these things at the backstop. New location, watch out for wires real big. I was watching people drive around on side-by-side uh, -side four wheelers out on the dirt roads. I don't know if that's like overlooked or if it's legal or what the story is, but I want to ask, check it out. A little bit of wind, so I won't be up that long. So I'm going to get up to this train area and I'm going to head kind of like directly in to the center of the town. And what Wall Drug is is a very large, uh, either one large building or a complex of buildings. Um, It's a complex of buildings, but they're, they're joined together, so inside you can just walk around, you know, from store to store to store. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn directly towards what is the main part of town right now. 
and I'm looking at it, so I'm kind of fixing my head on it. It's right, right there. That's it. That's the main part of town. And it looks a lot bigger when you're in it, <laughs> instead of uh, hundreds of feet over it. There's a, okay, so you see all the cars? All right, now that's perfect view of it. That's it with all the cars. So those are some mighty big grain elevators there. <clears throat> the biggest ones around I think I've ever seen. But it is kind of neat to fly around where you can land just about anywhere <laughs> compared to home. And there's a community baseball field. staying up that long. I know that it's late. I know the winds are going to pick up. But I wanted to have a little fun this morning. It's my first day here. Hopefully I can get down somewhere and close to my landing spot. So I've been practicing. I'm doing better and better in my landings. <clears throat> Okay, I think we're going to get pretty close. And there we go. So that was my first South Dakota flight. It was fun, it was short, and it's getting pretty bumpy up there so I feel pretty good about landing and uh, we'll get a chance to see Wall. we'll see it again tomorrow excuse me this evening if the if the wind is right and uh, it ought to be fun so we'll see you then bye bye <laughs>